it appears that Pyro Cynical responded to the false allegations. And I mentioned in a few videos that that if Pyro Cynical does respond either in a video or someplace else, you probably have to he Ivory will have to probably apologize. Because I know he's just doing it for cloud. In fact, I kind of basically made the first video about it, which I already knew that Ivory was doing it for Cloud, and uh, this addresses everything from Pyrocynical himself, so I'm going to read this now. Hey gamers, I would like to take this opportunity to address a false allegation recently made against me on Twitter. As some of you may have seen, it has been claimed back in 2016 while when I was 19 years old, that I was groomed, quote, quote, groomed, an individual who was 15 years old at the time. I want to set the record straight with you all and share the truth. This accusation is 100% false and incredibly irresponsible. I am not denying that in the past, I took part in conversations with others that many of you will understandably consider to be weird and distasteful, probably an understatement. It was curious of me not to consider who was behind the role play slash art sharing, and I take full accountability. But these exchanges never mounted to anything other than fancy role play. I have never sent or solicited nude or in real life content. I have never tried to in in engineer and elicit encounter or lure anybody into anything. I have never built a dialogue, connection, or relationship with the intention of manipulating or exploiting anyone. This was even confirmed by Ivory himself in an interview. He never at any point stated that he felt uncomfortable, and if he did, I never would have continued to message and respond to him. Every exchange between Irie and I was fully consensual and perpetual. He never once disclosed the fact that he was routine at the time these exchanges com commenced. He didn't include his age in his bio until he was 16, but I was not on Twitter between the 28th of December 2016 until the, 20, the 29th of June 2017 as I was suspended. Moreover, individuals have since come forward contending that Ivy would be disingenuous about his age to correctly gain entry to other fancy roleplay groups. I am really confused by Ivy's inconsistency. I mean, so am I, because when I read that, immediately something didn't add up, but I knew right away what it was. Anyway, let me continue. There is evidence to suggest that he has engaged in fancy roleplay with another individual similar age in age to me. This individual was also not aware of Ivory's age at the time. But in this particular example, it was Ivory who very much annihilated and directed the roleplay. After Ivory alleged that I groomed him, this individual then reached out to him. 
to apologize for any hurt he may have inadvertently caused him. To which I responded, No, you're fine, I don't care. Why does he not care in this instance? Why does he remain uninfected by a similar interaction with others? Yet, he only needs to single me out and, and character assassinate only me on social media. See, this is the part, this is the part where it got to me when I kinda knew something fishy was going on. When I look more into it, there were more evidence coming in. Like, I kinda knew that he was, like, really sketchy. Furthermore, if he is as angry, confused, and sad as he claims to be, why has he been in friendly contact with me right up until September of this year? And he linked an imager about that. He linked an imager about that, which I will get to reading it here. Which I think happened to be a Discord message. Which says he q he q. Nah. It goes on. E. The last one was a concept. Thingy, my friend, Jew, based off that Kintsuji idea, but he's a good boy though, so I don't know what to name him, HH. Why not? Kintsuji. Honestly, that should be his name. Poggers. E he he. Part incompletion time. Hell yeah. Shout out to this though. No choice but to stand. And then these messages go on and on. So. Yeah, that kind of made it all suspicious from there. As to why Ivory uh, stopped talking to Pyro Sample. During the interview he mentioned earlier, he was confronted with evidence he sent King Card to someone else. He, he knew, initially claimed it was him, but then that backtracks claiming he has no recollection. I am not here to personally attack anyone, I just want to clear my name. Being falsely accused has been extremely stressful, and it is such a serious issue. I feel it, it has to be addressed. It now. I feel it too. I feel it has to now be addressed. Jesus Christ, I can't read. All of this being said, I will kindly ask my fans to not call out Ivory, no one direct any negativity his way. I don't want to play any part in fueling or perpetuating hate. I just want to share the truth, close this chapter, move forward, and return to doing what I love, making unfunny videos. And that is the last part of that chapter. However, since the pyro cynical stuff has come out in like almost a month ago now, I'm gonna make a complete review, a complete review video of the pyro cynical grooming, quote unquote, allegations, and. Uh, 
yeah, it should be a lot of fun to make, and, uh, I'll be reading everything from every single tweet that I read in, uh, previous videos I made, and I'll probably show some of the seek the uh, evidence, quote unquote evidence, that Ivory has claimed that there that he has. Along with the letter that I just read to you now, the letter that Pyro Single posted yesterday, which is a statement about the false allegations that he made. So yeah. And that's about it. And uh, I'll probably have that video up around next week or so, depending on how long this will take.